Hey, Nick Peterson here, bringing you some more brain food. Now, we're going to talk today about the mental barriers that get in our way when we are talking about improving our health and our overall performance, because ultimately your health really dictates your performance, your longevity, your consistency, all those things, right? So what are the barriers? How do we overcome them? And I'll tell you, sometimes the best way to help figure out what to do is to figure out what not to do, right? Charlie Munger says, show me where I am going to die so I can avoid going there. And that's a pretty good way to live a long time is avoid where you're going to die, right? And so the point is, the whole idea is what do we know is an ineffective way of overcoming mental barriers? And research has shown over and over and over again that willpower is not what you want to rely on. Okay, and to illustrate, two scientists took about 47, 48 people. And I believe it was 47 people. And they put them in a room with delicious smelling cookies. There's just smell of cookies was everywhere. And about half, they said, you can eat the cookies. The other half, they said, hey, you can't eat the cookies, but you can snack on these radishes and carrots and stuff, right? That was the first part. Then everybody left and came back and did cognitive testing. And the people that had to resist the cookies tested worse and gave up sooner because the willpower exhausted them, made them emotional, and made them quit before the people that did not have to show willpower beforehand, okay? So ultimately, if willpower is how you get through things, it's also the reason you're probably going to quit before you would if you had other mechanisms to overcome mental barriers, especially with fitness, right? Health, performance, because the food aspect, Food looks delicious, it smells delicious, it gets a lot of our senses uh, fired up. So, what do we do? I'm going to walk you through a quick three steps to walk through. One, what is the trigger? What makes me run into this resistance? What makes me not want to do this? Why is there a barrier? Can I remove that trigger? Maybe I need to work out, but my girlfriend wants to come over. And so I don't work out because I want to spend time with her. Remove that trigger, right? Sorry, you can't come over from this time to this time because I need to focus on my health or I need to focus on my chest practice or whatever performance is to you. Now, if you can't remove that trigger, right? You say, can I make it more difficult? Can I increase or decrease the ease of resisting? So sometimes it's just eliminating cookies helps you reach your performance and health goals, right? So can I just remove cookies from the house? If not, then you say, how can I mentally make it more painful to mess up or more rewarding to follow through with this? You can give yourself rewards physically, mentally. Okay, so there's kind of that checklist. And this is how we avoid the, the quote unquote storm of resistance, right? Because resistance comes and the barrier is mental. We're scared. We're unsure. We don't know what's on the other side. Sometimes we're afraid of our own success. Sometimes we're just tired, right? So we want to eliminate that fatigue by eliminating the willpower. And you just run through, can I remove this trigger? Can I, if not, you move on to the next step, right? Which is, can I remove the ease of this temptation or increase the ease of doing something I don't want to do, but will benefit me in the long term. And if not, you say, can I mentally train myself to, on a scale of six to eight, or six to 10, I don't want to do this, can I make it an eight? Or on a scale of one to 10, the danger of me not doing this is only a four, can I make it an eight? Like, instead of thinking, mm, I'll be fine tomorrow, can I think, well, I'm going to have a heart attack in five years, right? That moves the motivation scale. So can I move the motivation scale? And these are practices you can do. Uh, again, exercise and food are big ones because the rewards are so diminished. Now, if you can't avoid 
the resistance. And this is something that you have to understand. And I'm going to try to illustrate for you. If you can't avoid the resistance, the big trigger is start. And the direction is into the resistance. Lean in. Okay, this is how you overcome things is you get through them. So if I'm here, I'm this little guy, and there's a storm rolling in, and I try to run away from it, it prolongs the amount of time I spend in that storm. However, if the storm is rolling in and I run through it, into the storm, into the resistance, I get through it faster. And each time you get through resistance, you build habits and you realize that, hey, that wasn't that bad, right? So understand those concepts. First of all, can I change my motivation? Can I remove the trigger? Can I manipulate the ease metric? And can I manipulate the motivation metric? If not, like you should sit down and do this. Whatever you, your diet you're not starting, that exercise that you're not consistent with, those walks you're not going on, sit down and say, can I remove the trigger that stops me or can I implement a trigger that gets me going? Can I make it easier to do the thing I need to do or can I make it harder to do the thing that prevents me from doing what I need to do? And can I attach a higher level of motivation to it? Right? These are the mental hacks that will get you through anything. And then look, if the storms come in, you have to start because the brain hates unfinished business. If you start going through the storm, you'll finish. You just have to start leaning in to the resistance. Okay, and as things come up with your health and your overall performance, this is how you attack them. This is how do I get active every day? How do I eat better? How do I follow this plan? I just purchased the plan. Now I'm afraid I won't be able to follow it. Implement these steps. Okay, do it right now and then tell me in the comments. Tell me on Facebook. Tell me on, I don't really tweet, but tell me on Instagram. Tell me wherever you can what you did, how it helped you. And if you do it publicly, a whole bunch of other people are going to benefit and they'll share with you. And you see, we kind of have this swelling tide thing. So share, overcome and share and catch the next brain food. We just got hit with some really powerful and pragmatic stuff. Don't you think? I do. And if you agree, hit the thumbs up button below and like the video. Let me know in the comments what other videos you want to see, what you want me to expand upon, and what questions you have. And remember, all of this stuff is only as powerful as the actions you take in your execution, the practical applications you can derive from it. So let's see how quickly and effectively and efficiently you can master the things to come. You're going to get information here that's going to help you on your journey that you will not find anywhere else. So 